Bienvenue à moments, the songs and the singers from 20 countries will be competing for the Grand Prix, the biggest international song contest in the world. And I can't think of anywhere better to stage it than in April in Paris. Chestnuts in blossom. Oh, there's a cue for a song there somewhere. But I think I'll leave the music to the orchestra of Télévision Française 1, conducted by François Robert. The composition is written specially for the occasion. While your eyes drink in the delights of Paris. Sous les ponts de Paris. Ah, if only Eartha Kitt were here. columns of Notre Dame, the bells, the bells, What is this? Answers on a postcard, please, to Television Center. Of course, the Eiffel Tower as we proceed along the Seine. We've had a lovely, sunny weekend here in Paris. And it's the shades of evening for the camera moves in. On the lovely fountains of the Palais de Chaillot. in the bustle of the boulevards of Paris by night. Traffic roaring its way up the Champs-Elysees and at the top, the Arc de Triomphe. French moon, but I'm not taking any chances. So it is, my God. There's the view from the other side of the Arc de Triomphe as we come down to the Palais de Congrès, opened in 1974 at Porte Maillot, stroll down the boulevard from the Arc de Triomphe. An argon laser shooting arrows of green light around the auditorium here, this huge auditorium that can accommodate more than 4,000 people. It covers an area of 43,000 square feet. The stage, 6,500 square feet, lit by 400 spotlights. Center stage, a huge bandstand like a great revolving easy chair. A marvelous setting for the 23rd Eurovision Song Contest. And on stage, in Bombazine, comes Denise Fowler. Lovely girl, one of the two presenters of this year's Eurovision Song Contest. The other who will shortly be translating her well-chosen few words into English is Léon Zitron. So far as I know, this is the first two-handed presentation of the contest. Usually, it's a one-woman job, as witness Angela Rippon's tearaway performance at Wembley last year. Obviously, that was a bon mot in French that I missed. But another new wrinkle in the presentation is that after every fifth song, the bold Denise Léon will bound on and announce the next five countries taking part. Here he comes, slowly. This is Léon Zitron. Now, I'm not sure whether this is to keep you abreast of things, just to remind you that they're still there. But 
uh, I shouldn't be surprised if they burst into a medley of Maurice Chevalier favourites at any moment. And Denise here is a bit of an all-rounder, an announcer, an actress, a producer, a journalist. Just look at the colour of this hall. Great stars over the stage. Léon Zitron, who's chafing at the bit just out of your camera waiting to get in his three minutes' worth, is even more versatile. He's covered in national weddings and funerals. He's interviewed everybody from Prince Philip to Mr. Brezhnev. At any spare moments, commentates on everything from ice hockey to show jumping. The Gallic cross between Dorian Williams and Robin Day. The picture of Dorian Day, in fact. Well, in this 23rd Eurovision Song Contest, all the United Kingdom's eyes and ears and hopes rest on our representatives, Coco. They won the right to represent us at the Song for Europe contest last month at the Albert Hall. I think the chances tonight for the Palais de Congrès are very good. The song, The Bad Old Days, is catchy. They're an eye-catching, attractive group. The United Kingdom has won this contest three times. Sandy Shaw in 1967 with Puppet on a String, Lulu in 69 with Boom, Bang, a Bang, and two years ago in The Hague, Brotherhood of Man won it for Britain with Save Your Kisses for Me. I understand the bookmakers in the United Kingdom have Coco as the favourites, but I think that that doubtful honour should go to Luxembourg, who are represented by Baccarat, certainly the best known, most successful performers in the contest, with two big international hits to their credit. Uh, I don't think Ireland's chances should be discounted either. A bit of bias there. They have a very good singer in Colum C.T. Wilkinson. And or indeed the German entry, which is sung by Bill Ricky's Irene Shear. Don't ask me at this stage for a Wogan's winner. I rated Frances Marie Miriam a rank outsider last year, and she can't at home. Now, the Eurovision this year has been more than usually fraught. The laissez-faire attitude of the French hasn't exactly endeared them to all the artists and musical directors. But it's all part and parcel of a great live television event. The Eurovision Song Contest is a picture of a gentleman who is more or less in charge. He's the monitor. If anything goes wrong with the scoring system, he'll check up and rectify it. He's got a phone with a little handle on it. And he rings up various countries to make sure that the juries are there. That's uh, Monsieur Neff. Now, Léon Zitron comes over to explain in English. With us this evening here in Paris, the live broadcast of the Eurovision Song Contest, which is being presented to you by one of France's favorite television announcers, this very charming and very beautiful lady, Denise Favre, and by myself. This contest specially designed for television, is intended to promote the production of top quality, popular, original songs by giving authors and composers an opportunity for comparison of their work at an international scale, a highly international scale indeed, since tonight 20 countries are participating in the contest, and by order of the draw, I shall quote Ireland, Norway, Italy, Finland, Portugal, France, Spain, United Kingdom, Switzerland, Belgium, Netherlands, Turkey, Germany, Monaco, Greece, Denmark, Luxembourg, Israel, Austria, and Sweden. That makes 20. The competition in existence since 1956 has been won once by several countries, twice by Spain, three times by the United Kingdom, four times by the Netherlands and Luxembourg, five times by France. Last year, France won it at Wembley, England, Marie Miriam singing The Bird and the Child. And that is why the show, the broadcast tonight, originates from Paris on TF1. The contest is held under the auspices of the EBU, the European Broadcasting Union, which includes Eurovision. Dear old Eurovision, I must say, will, by the way, celebrate its 25th anniversary next year, I mean in June 1979. The man who, for some 10 years, acted as scrutineer of the EBU, Clifford Brown, has now retired, and he, his successor in this capacity is Frank Naif, who is there on my left, on your right. Frank Naif has a very official title. I shall read it in order to, not to make a mistake. He is the head of the Division of Special Television Programs at the EBU. Well, 
He is now the final authority on the conduct of the voting, but I will come later to explain you the details, the rules and regulations of the vote, now and for an hour and a half or so, on with the songs, beginning, of course, as the draw has decided, by those who will sing for Ireland. Nous vous expliquerons le déroulement du vote tout à l'heure. Now, while Denise is putting the final touches in French, 20 countries taking part this year in the contest, and uh, the first of these will be Ireland, as you've just heard on stage in a moment. Coco, the United Kingdom's representatives, are drawn at number eight. All the artists are incarcerated three floors below the stage, and they come up with their musical directors and backing groups by lift. And myself and all the other commentators here, television and radio, have lit candles in Notre Dame today in case that lift sticks. And if it does, you may be talking amongst yourselves for some time. Here's Denise chuntering on in French, and they say the Irish talk a lot. Thank you, Denise. And it's Ireland's turn. Song number one. It's the Irish flag. And in a moment you'll see Column C.T. Wilkinson. There he is, with his musical director on his right, his backing group just behind him. The song is Born to Sing, and he's the one who wrote it himself. The applause now for the musical director, first of all. That's Noel Keelan, who's conducted many times for Ireland and their entries into Eurovision. <laughs> Conducting the orchestra of TF1. Takes his bow. The Irish entry, song number one, the first of 20, and sung by Colm C.T. Wilkinson, Born to Sing. I said it would never work You said let us try I said I'm a traveling man And I'll only make you cry But when the feeling hit me And I had to move along You said you were right I guess You must sing your song And a man is born to do one thing And I'm born to sing And I must take the good time And what shadows moving on the wall The loneliness is killing me So I turn the radio on And I need you now and want you In the slow morning light And the music makes it easier But it doesn't make it right And the man is born to do one thing And I was born to say Understand why I live this way. Songs keep moving in my head. There's music I must play. So I pack my bags and once again I get out on the road. Another day, maybe tonight. I'm a text my soul. And a man is bound to do one thing. of a start to this Eurovision Song Contest, column C.T. Wilkinson, and this is Jan Teigen, representing Norway with song number two. The region entry is called Mille et Mille, there's that famous lift I was telling you about. 
the one that we're hoping is not going to stick. Now, all we require is that somebody presses the button for it to go up. Good girl yourself. Well, the words in music for this song, Mil Eter Mil, are by Koi Aidia. Jan Teigen himself was born in Tansberg in 1949. He's appeared in stage musicals, released a number of LPs and singles in Norway, and has what I'd call a whimsical style of delivery. Now, Norway have never won the contest, frankly, without any prejudice. I don't think this one is going to do it for them either. You'll just see the back of Colm Wilkinson there, and he'll be greeting Jan Teigen for Norway and wishing him well as he comes out. Uh, the conductor leading the Norwegian group out is Karsten Klaumann, who's a very, very well-known man here at these Eurovision Song Contests. Burst of applause for him. There's a backing group of three girls, three blonde girls in black. For Jan... Jan Teigen and this, my word, this Leonine girl, all legs and hair, large teeth as well, and there's another girl with their short hair stuff. Contrast is what you're getting with Italy's entry at number three, entitled Questo Amore. Well, it would be. This love, it's called, is being sung by Ricky e Poveri. That's what you're looking at. And they're Angela Brambati, Marina Occhiena, Franco Gatti, all from Genoa, and Angelo Sotiu from Sardinia. Now, they've had a number of hits in the Italian hit parade. Just look at the crowd here. This huge auditorium is not by any means full, possibly for security reasons. Yeah, that's a famous face, isn't it? Isn't that Serge Gainsbourg? Don't ask me to name too many people here tonight. And there's Jan Teigen, who's just come off stage, and he's prepared to wish, wish the Italian entries all the best. So they do. That's good. That's the sporting spirit in which this contest should be held. Italy last won in 1964, which is Viola Cinquetti. The words of Questo Amore are by Sergio Bardotti. The music is by Dario Farino and Mauro Lucini. The conductor is Nicola Samari. Turns to his orchestra, finds his music, and here it comes. 
Number three, the Italian entry from Ricky e Poveri. Questo amore. Questo amore, tu mi piaci da morire. Questo amore, dai smettiamo di ballare. Questo amore, qui fa caldo, siamo un po'. Questo amore, io domani non lavoro, io nemmeno la tua bocca è sulla mia, che fatica andare via, cominciava così. Così con niente La giostra che va alla testa mi gira Racconta la giusta non avere paura Non scommetti che bevo e bene Criterion, and I think that would be the winner. But uh, I don't see that that Italian is going to win. Okay. This is Saya Simona for Finland. Track of Girl Blonde there yeah, with the uh, musical director Ossi Runda. Very, very well known name again here at Eurovision Song Contests. This girl's been singing professionally since the mid 60s. She's represented her country at many international song contests in Chile, in Athens and in Rostock. The song is Ama Rakaudella Tilaisus. It's okay. It's a mouthful in any language and it's translated here as Give Love a Chance and I'm certainly not going to argue with that. Asaya Simula has written the words and the music is by Royo Carbone. There are the Italians standing having done their very best for the country in the song contest and waiting off stage and here come the Finns preparing to take their chances before this three or four thousand audience and 600 million viewers all over Europe and the Middle East. Finland are another country who've never won the contest. They keep plugging away. Applause for Ossi Runne as he takes the podium this enormous revolving bandstand. Three in the backing group to sing for Finland song number four Saya Simola. Katsot vielä pikkumies On niin epävarma Askel pienten jalkaan Mutta aika kuluu Mieheks vartut pikkumies Leikit vaihtuu työhön 
aikuisten. Silloin toivon suurta rakkautta sydämeesi sun, siten helpompi on tiesi taivalta. Äidin hymyn vastaa, aikaa pysähtymään silloin, toivoisin. Pian huomaan, susta kasvanut mies. Usein matkallasi aikuisten niin kovaan maailmaan, moni aate ihon. in grey. Saya Stimola with her backing group in grey as well. The finish entry. That was song number four. They leave the stage. Oh, there's an entrance and a half. This is Gemini representing Portugal with song number five which is Daily Do. Translated in English as Daily Do. Fly, kite, fly or something. Now, Gemini, our Mike Sargent, who's a Scot, is a small bearded gentleman there getting into that little crammed in there, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> thank you very much. Right in the cameraman's face. Would you press the button, please, sir? He's a wonderful asset, isn't he? Well, Gemini, our Mike Sargent, is the Scot, <laughs> Teresa Miguel, Fatima Padinha, and Jose Brito. And the words are by Carlos Quintash. The music is by Victor Mamede. The orchestra, the orchestra, the audience, looking tremendously happy. Look at all those smiling faces. However, that's something you can't say about Saya Simula, who seems to be, I suppose, glad the ordeal is over and just coming down out of all that excitement. Portugal's record in this contest hasn't been all that good to date, but this is quite a good entry, I think. It could do very well for them. The conductor, getting his applause now, is Pilo Krasman, who was born in Germany in Bremen. He takes his bow. Wish he'd knotted his tie before he came on. And the group Gemini pick up their microphones and prepare to sing a Portuguese entry.
Paul's Andy caught the audience up, but they threw themselves into that with Gemini with Daily Do for Portugal. And Leon Zitron, as I said earlier, will be popping up every five songs to signpost the way ahead. Vous allez entendre maintenant la France, l'Espagne, le Royaume-Uni, la Suisse et la Belgique. Well, we have just heard Ireland, Norway, Italy, Finland and Portugal. And now we're going to hear France, Spain... United Kingdom, Switzerland, and Belgium. All right. Well done, Leon. Now, the French entry, which is next, is Il y aura toujours des violons. There will always be violins. That's uh, Alain Gorager, the musical director for the French entry, and the backing group of three girls in grey, two gentlemen in black. The applause for Alain Gorager. The song will be sung by the Winston curly haired Joël Prévost, who is 28. It's a song and a performance to be reckoned with. France could hold on to this Grand Prix de Europe with that song. And one to go to the United Kingdom entry at song number eight. This, number seven, José Vélez for Spain. Certainly got the best teeth in the contest. And the Spanish entry is called Bailemos un Valve. Let's dance a waltz into the famous lift here at the Palais de Congrès. 
good service lift, it looks like, doesn't it? Now, press the button. Good. Well done, sir. Now, Spain have won the contest twice in the past, in 1968 and 1970, and this is a bouncy ballad that could do well. Now, surprisingly, Spain's best-known pop duo, Bacara, they're representing Luxembourg. Now, the words and music for this Spanish entry are by Manuel de la Calva and Ramon Arcuza. And uh, groups waiting side stage and waiting for the arrival of the There they go. A gentleman with a headphone is going to be the best known technician in Europe at the end of this contest. And on they come, the Spanish party. Having a nice shake hand there. Jose Beret from Joel Prevost. This is Ramon Arcuza, who helped to write the song and is conducting the orchestra. Takes his bow. Hey, it's the Spanish entry then. ¿Dónde estás? Yo no sé si tú recordarás El verano que juntos pasamos los dos Y que nunca podré yo olvidar No sé, te perdí Nunca más he sabido de ti Solo espero que un día regreses a mí Y de nuevo te pueda pedir ¿Dónde estás? Yo no sé si tú recordarás El verano que juntos pasamos los dos Y que nunca podré yo olvidar Hoy sé que perdí Nunca más he sabido de ti Solo espero que un día regreses a mí Y de nuevo te pueda pedir ¿Quieres que bailemos? the United Kingdom's entry at number eight, with them Alan Ainsworth, one of Britain's best known, best liked, best musical directors. The song at number eight, The Bad Old Days. So many of the party, they've taken both lifts. Coco, uh, Cheryl Baker and uh, Josephine Andrews, Keith Hasler, Paul Rogers, Charles Brennan, and the leader of the group, that's Terry Bradford. Well, uh, there's a woman smiling in the audience anyway, that's a good sign. And the United Kingdom's record in the contest is very good indeed. Three firsts and innumerable seconds. And Jose Velez looks pleased with himself there, as well he might be. It was a very good performance. And I think must be up there with the leaders when they come to tot up the marks at the end. 
Now, rarely has Britain's entry been out of the running in the past few years, and I think Coco's chance is very good indeed. Here they come out of that lift. The words of music by Stephanie De Sykes and Stuart Slater. Stephanie, of course, a successful singer in her own right. Big applause for them, for Alan Ainsworth, as he takes to the bandstand. They're certainly going to be the most colourful group here. They must have a great chance of winning it. Alan Ainsworth takes a bow. The group turn to the microphones, adjust them to their liking. Let's wish them well. All the best to Coco. Here they go with the United Kingdom entry. That's the bad old days. I was lost for learning like a song without a key Remember when I was all alone without a soul to call my friend Who'd have thought those days would ever end That's the biggest round so far. They must be the leaders on the books with that. No doubt they're the favourites. That's Coco at number eight for the United Kingdom. And this young lady is the Swiss entry. Number nine is Carole Vinci with her musical director. Allez, Big kiss there. The musical director is Danielle Jana. Carole Vinci is going to be singing a song called Vive. Live. I'm sorry, Live. <laughs> Now, Switzerland won the very first contest in 1956, but they haven't been in the running since, I'm afraid. The words of Vivre are by Pierre Alain, the music by Alain Morissode. The Two Paris is here tonight, as you may see, a very fashionable audience. Alain Morissot, in fact, discovered Carole Vinci. And there's, there's Coco congratulating themselves. And I think, again, they might well. That was the best performance of the week, undoubtedly. They seem very pleased. That's Josie hugging Alan Ainsworth. And they're wishing, they're wishing the Swiss entry well. Again, that nice sporting attitude that exists between all the artists. That's the applause for Danielle Jana. Uh, Swiss entries over the past few years, they've been a little on the folksy side and haven't done very well. This is a chanson. Might do better. Might be a surprise, this, I think. It's uh, Carole Vinci, then, with the Swiss entry, number nine. is called Vive. <laughs> Pourquoi 
ne pas croire à la belle histoire qui fait chanter le cœur et les saisons. Je veux tout oublier dans tes bras et tout recommencer avec toi, partager les couleurs et les chansons. Pourquoi ne pas suivre ce Swiss entry from Carol Vinci, and if the jurors, the various juries, go for a solo female singer, she could be the one. Now, this, in my view, anyway, is possibly the best melody in the contest, and the gentleman who's going to be singing it is Jean Vallet, and he's singing it for Belgium, song number ten. He's got a look of the French film star about him. This fellow, he's plenty of sex appeal, and he just appealed to me, but several girls have told me. Going up on the lift there, taking him three floors up to the stage. Now, Jean Vallet also wrote the words for the Belgian entry. It's called L'amour, ça fait chanter la vie. Love makes life sing. Jean Vallet has represented Belgium before. That was eight years ago in the song contest. He's one of the most experienced performers here tonight at the Palais de Congrès. He lives and works mostly in Paris. That's Carole Vinci being congratulated after a performance and turning to encourage Jean Vallée for Belgium and the backing group that he has with him. His musical director is Jean Musy. Jean Vallée is dressed in cream with a green shirt and he sits himself at the grand piano as Jean Musy prepares to take over the orchestra. There's three girls, two fellas backing this man. It's the Belgian entry, song number 10, halfway through the contest. Mais dans le cœur des crayons de couleur dessiner le monde amour on devient musicien de vrai petit chopin rien que pour une blonde l'amour c'est tellement fantastique avec le bonheur en musique Ça rit de toute sa symphonie L'amour fait changer la vie 
l'amour Ça vous met dans les yeux Un regard fabuleux Qui vous change un visage L'amour Ça vous donne des ailes Vous montez dans le ciel Jusqu'au septième étage L'amour C'est tellement fantastique Ça met le bonheur en Ça fait changer la vie L'amour C'est un grand magicien Qui vous change à chacun Au moins d'une seconde L'amour En amont commençant Ça vous donne vingt ans Dans tous les coins du monde That could be the big danger to Coco. I think that's a very good performance. Jean Valet for Belgium. And in Bombazine. I mean, is it crinoline and creptochine? Hard to tell. Well, Denise Fab and Leon Dicon. Uh, France, Spain, United Kingdom, Switzerland, and Belgium. And now we're going to hear Netherlands, Turkey, Germany, Monaco, and Greece. Vous venez d'entendre la France, l'Espagne, le Royaume-Uni, la Suisse et la Belgique. Et vous allez entendre maintenant les Pays-Bas, la Turquie, l'Allemagne, la Principauté de Monaco et la Grèce. Yeah, well said indeed, my dear. What a pretty girl she is. Well, now, the, the five sturdy Frenchmen have just pushed the squeaking piano off the stage here. And ready to go are the Netherlands entry, Pays-Bas. Song number 11. These are an attractive group, too. Second half of the contest, really, song 11. Singers are Harmony, Rosina Louvars, Ab van Budenberg, and Donald Liefeld. The song is called Et is OK. The words are by Dick Koyman and Juan Crispin. The music by Eddie Oyvens. And the orchestra is conducted by Harry von Hoof. The Netherlands entry. <laughs>
good round of applause for the Netherlands entry. That was Harmony and Et is OK. I think the biggest round of applause has definitely been for the Belgian entry, the most popular song in the hall, anyway. That was Jean Valet. This is Nazar. That girl's in a nightdress. And they're all wearing uh, mock flowers, I think, in their buttonholes. Big red. Could they be roses? That's the musical director being dragged in at the last minute into the lift. It would be terrible if he got caught in the doors. Nazar, singing for Turkey. Uh, one of the group is Dahan Baidur, who wrote the music for the song, which is called Sevinje, translated as When I Love You. This is an excited audience. There's Stephanie de Sykes having a coughing fit, and beside her, Stuart Slater. They, of course, wrote Coco's uh, entry for the United Kingdom. And um, that's uh, Harmony standing by to welcome the Turkish entry, and on they come. This is uh, only the second time Turkey have entered the contest. And I love those technicians standing by with cigarettes hanging out of their mouths. And on comes the conductor, whose name is Ono Tunch. He's all in white with uh, a black shirt. And uh, one member of Nazar, at least, is coming on. He's wearing boots. And the two girls are in Durandal. Well, I don't know what it is, but it's quite pretty. White is the motif. Nazar for Turkey. And this is called Sevinja, translated as When I Love You. for Turkey with Sivinje. Those roses, as far as I could see, were made of cloth. Oh, this is Irene Scheer. She's representing Germany. And she's a very vivacious girl. She sings very well indeed. She's from Billericay in Essex, the daughter of an English postman. And the uh, German entry is called Feuer. That's fire. She's in there with the backing group and the uh, musical director, Jean Frankfurter. A good name for a German as well. Now, uh, Irene has lived and worked in Germany since 1972. It's not entirely inappropriate. She sings the German song. Her mother is, in fact, German. 
Well, there's Nazar congratulating themselves and their musical director. As they might, they seem very happy. I suppose the sheer relief of having got off this enormous stage with its uh, multicolored changes, this big audience here, knowing that there's so many millions of people looking in at you as you sing live, and one little slip, <laughs> you're destroyed. Here comes Irene Gere. I wonder what her thoughts are. She's in a lovely, lovely uh, white, simple white dress and uh, a stole, I suppose, which uh, she will hurl off. I don't want to anticipate your pleasure. The words and music by John Muring and Jean Frankfurt, who, as I've said, is conducting the orchestra, taking his bow. There's a backing group. The girls are in purple. The boys are in black. On comes Irene Shear in white to sing the German entry, song number 13, Feuer. Even a very good hand here at the Palais de Congress. Dramatic performance. Very good performance from Irene Shear. She takes her bows. Next on, moving to the magic lift, are Cadine et Olivier Toussaint. And they're representing Monaco. She's a very pretty girl in white. He's in a shiny dinner jacket, really, I suppose you could call it. The descriptive powers of the man. The conductor is Yvon Rayonnant. So I'm getting into the lift there. Let's hope he gets out again, otherwise I'm stuck. Now, the song is The Gardens of Monaco. There's Jardin de Monaco. There's Irene Shea, very, very pleased, kissing all the backing group. There's no more than they deserve. Oh, the great sigh of relief. It's all over. Look at that. <laughs> and on come Canine, Olivier Toussaint. Now, Olivier had a hand in writing this music for Monaco with Paul de Sonville. They've had a very big hit with Dolan Melody, which I've played many times, sold over two million. The words are by Jean Albertini and Didier Barbelivien. Paul Didier has also written the words for the French entry. This is Yvon Rayolon in a white dinner jacket taking a bow, the pianist. 
takes his position and picking up their mics are Kalina and Olivier Dussain. La petite fille qui jouait au cerceau dit tu t'en souviens Le petit garçon qui jouait au ballon oui je m'en souviens On regardait les voiliers italiens oh oui c'était bien Il y avait un petit square des balançoires et, et tu me donnais la main La petite fille qui me jetait du sable, dit tu t'en souviens Le petit garçon qui volait des cerises, moi je l'aimais bien Il y a longtemps que je t'aime et tu sais, non rien n'a changé Il y a toujours un amour à partager Dans les jardins de Monaco Chapine aurait pu rencontrer Garbo Fanny m'a peut-être embrassé Mardo Comme toi et moi Dans les jardins de Monaco Parmi les fleurs au milieu des oiseaux Juliette a dû rencontrer Rome Good performance from Monaco, from the Toussaint, the Jardin de Monaco. Song number 15 coming up, and that will be the Greek entry. Here she comes, what a cheery, vivacious girl this is. This is Tanya Tanaklidou. She's linking her pianist on the one side, on uh, her left, and on her right, her conductor, Charis Andreadis. Uh, one of Greece's most promising young musical talents. Now she's going to sing the Greek entry, Charlie Chaplin. And I think this is the best ever Greek entry, and there's a lot of quiet fancy for this. And even as we speak, you can't see this, but there are extremely finely muscled Frenchmen wheeling on the famous grand piano again. And there's the two stars, and they're getting the kisses as they deserve to. That's nice. And the bearded technician in the background who will become so famous with this, will be able to state his own terms for a television career. And here comes uh, Charis Andriades, who's the musical director. Now this song, of course, actually is a tribute to the great movie clown, Charlie Chaplin. And on comes the conductor. The words are by Hanis Santuris and the music by Sakis Tidikis. Hanis Andriaris takes up the baton. On comes the pianist with the bowler and the walking stick. And the backing group are all in grey. And Tania Tanaklidou is ready to sing for Greece with their entry called Charlie Chaplin. As soon as the pianist sits down, that is. Natos que se tapo tigonia, capela que ma bro a sorti, stipe de astiki mas agonia. Charlie Chaplin, Tony 
πελάτες και σκληροί πελάτες Να τη κοινωνία του άλλο Μια ζωή γεμάτη αυταπάτες Μια ζωή χαμογελό ζεστό Κι όσο διαρκούσε η ταινία Τόσο και με πήγαινε μακριά Δεν μας μην τελειώσει η αλήθεια He gets a great roar of applause. Good performance from Tanya Tanakli Lu. That was for Greece. And Charlie Chaplin. Uh -huh. Eh bien, vous Here we are again. The Ames brothers. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I, I think this is somewhat bizarre, these interruptions here from the two presenters who, who merely say what the next five songs are going to be. I've just heard Netherlands, Turkey, Germany, Monaco and Greece. And now we shall hear Denmark, Luxembourg, Israel, Austria and Sweden. Sweden will sing the last. Hey, there it was. The squeaky piano was being led. I wonder if you heard that. The very high point of the contest. They're setting up the microphones. It's Denmark next. That's song number 16. And Mabel is the name of the group. He, to represent Denmark this year, there's part of the audience, huge audience here. A couple of thousand people. They're applauding Mabel as they come on. No, they're not. They're applauding two scene shifters as they go off. Here comes Mabel now. They've got that big drum. And uh, the song for Mabel is called Boom Boom, as you can imagine, from the drum. And the conductor is Helmer Olesen. They're a young weenie bopper group, these. There's Peter Nielsen, Andy Larson, Chris Harvey, and Mike Trump. For Denmark, then, song number 16. For the youngsters among you, from Mabel. Boom. Det er noget alt for mig mål Nej, du, jeg rører ikke Og trækker ikke spor Så jeg finder min kondition Kan være en kultur Nej, jeg gik op til lægen Og ved du, hvad han sagde At du skulle holde op med livet Skoler fra i dag Jeg lagde mig på brækset Og han undersøgte mig Det 
Well, they're very happy with that. That's uh, Mabel and Boom Boom for Denmark, all in, in cream jumpsuits with their red T-shirts. On he comes. That's the musical director, the lucky devil in the middle, Rolf Sawyer, a freckled Westphalian, it says according to the biography. And the two lovely girls with him, you probably know if you're a pop fan, are Baccarat. They're two Spanish girls, and they're in black and white, as they usually perform. They're singing the Luxembourg entry, though. They started their careers as flamenco dancers. Two very pretty girls, wonderful little movers. Singing hardly describes uh, what they do. Oh, there's, there's the Boom Boom Boys, well pleased with themselves. Uh, these two girls with their big international hits, Yes Sir, I Can Boogie and Sorry I'm a Lady. There's a certain similarity between those two hit songs and the song that you're going to hear for Luxembourg. Uh, they're Maria, who's the lady in white, and uh, just in front of her, that's Maite, who's in black. And they... They congratulate them. That's nice. They congratulate the entry from Denmark, and they prepare to take their place in front of possibly the biggest television audience that have ever seen them. On they come. Two very pretty girls. Rolf Soya, as I've said, is the man who's going to take the podium as the conductor. And the music is by Frank Tostel and Peter Zentner. It's the entry for Luxembourg. It's called Parlez-vous Francais. Bacala.
Parlez-vous français That's a popular choice in the hall too. A lot of rolling and shouting going on and a good deal of heavy breathing too. That's Baccarat, Parlez-vous français. Uh, French in a Spanish accent. Now then, this is the Israeli entry. He's full of beans, this fella. Isar Cohen is his name. And he's linking Nuri Hirsch, who is the only female musical director taking part in the contest. Uh, Isar Cohen's group is Alpha Beta. Press the button, girl. They're all in white, and Isar is 27. He's twice won the Israel Song Festival. He comes from Israel's answer to the Trap family. All of the family are singers and musicians. Must be held to be the neighbors. There's Baccarat. Yeah, very professional. That was a good performance, dancing and singing. But as I say, a tremendous similarity between that and their previous two hits, which were enormous sellers all over Europe. Uh, they were with the Luxembourg entry. And coming out of the lift in Anonsa 2 will be Alpha Beta, Nahama Shutan, Esther Zuberi, Lisa Gold, Isaac Orkev, and Reuven Eres. And they're dancers as well as singers. At the applause, and the best applause for a conductor for the night, because, of course... And she's female. If he was female, of course, it would be tremendous, even more. In Nurit Hirsch, this is, conducting the orchestra for the Israel entry, song number 18. The song is called Aba Nibi, it's called. And here come Alpha Beta. Simple, peasant smocks, cream trousers, the girls all in white. And this is a good, vivacious song for Israel. Might do very well. Beta and Ishar Cohen. Ah, the three guitars and the three fellas are springtime. Springtime in Austria. Austria's representatives are Walter Markel and his brother Gerhard 
with Norbert Niedermeyer. Safely into the magic lift. Now, these three likely lads also wrote the words and the music for this Austrian epic, Mrs. Caroline Robinson. And the conductor is Richard Osterreicher. Who else to conduct the Austrian entry? That's uh, the entire lineup of Alpha Beta there as they wait off stage because uh, I suppose they can't get into the lift until the next contestants come up. They're waiting to greet the Austrians as they come on stage and wish them well, obviously, as each preceding act is done. The conductor, Richard Osterreicher, comes out on stage to applause. Uh, last time Austria won was uh, Udo Jürgens with his own composition, Merci Chérie, in 1966, so an Austrian win is long overdue. On they come. Can they be the ones to do it? I frankly don't think so, but we'll see. Springtime for Austria. Mrs. Caroline Robinson. Mrs. Caroline Robinson fliegt nur mit einem Luftballon, denn sie hat den Besen satt, als Nobelhexe diese Stadt. Mrs. Caroline Robinson, die Telepathie und Television, Schwefelkrach, Chanel und Bach, Mode macht sie schwach. Clink of glasses here, <laughs> here in the Palais de Congress. And that was Mrs. Caroline Robinson. Don't think that's going to win it. And here he comes. I don't think he wanted to go on. He's been waiting a long time. It's Björn Hiefs with the final song. Number 20, the Swedish entry. Easy boy, you're overacting. The final song of this 23rd Eurovision Song Contest. Det blir altid vara framat natan. How does he do it? And that, that means when the night comes. She knew that. They're wheeling on once again. They're very popular figures with the audience here, these, these heavies who bring on the grand piano. See the audience smiling at them? <laughs> because uh, the gentleman who's singing for Sweden, this Bjorn Hiefs, is going to be playing the piano. I think this is Sweden's strongest entry since ABBA won uh, four years ago in Brighton. They've garnered a few votes with this. Bjorn is a performer of the Moody Ilk. And the conductor is Bengt Palmesh. And Bjorn Schiff has a backing of two male vocalists. And uh, an attractive outfit he has. A sort of Hello Sailor outfit. As he takes the piano for Sweden and the final song of this year's contest. Oh, 
kvällarna Då lever jag Jag vill älska för det är glöm Och gymsar på kvällen Sticker ut och tar en öl Och hör ett band Jag dansar väl och mår rätt fin Av värmen från de flinka Det blir alltid värre fram mot natten För mycket Och ensam Hittar alltid på någonting Gör vad jag vill Har ingen att Ta hänsyn till Och ingen tid att och spela squash när jag får lust Och käka sen och dyrt och gott Ja, det är rätt bra på kvällen Men det blir alltid värre fram mot natten Långt från alla ljus och alla skratter Blir tillbaka, tänker på dig That was a good performance too. I think it's been a very, very good in terms of, of performance. Perhaps the standard of songs hasn't been as strong as, say, in Brighton uh, four years ago, but I think it's been a good contest. You have just heard the 20 countries participating in the contest. Now time has come to select the best song. How is this to be done? Well, we will count up the number of points awarded. We're in radio contact with the 20 juries, one for each country, and each jury will give us the votes of the songs for the songs likes the most. Naturally, none of the juries can vote for the song representing its own country, so impartiality is guaranteed. For each jury, the chairman has been selected by an affiliation body of the country concerned among the members of its staff, and the jury cannot include any show business nor song world personality. This is a second guarantee for impartiality. At this very moment, each chairman is selecting, is collecting the votes from the members of his jury and is establishing the ratings. In a few minutes, we shall receive here in Paris the ratings decided by each country and in each case called out by the jury secretary spokesman and all, of course in the order followed since this contest has started. The song rated highest by each jury will be given 12 points, the song rated second will be given 10 points, the song rated third will get 8 points, the fourth one will get 7 and then 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The point system is fixed, is final and has been laid down by Eurovision rules. As we arrive these points will be posted here in Paris on the scoreboard and the scrutineer, Mr. Naif and his team will check that the points allocation and the additions are carried out correctly. Now, one last but very important point. Each jury has undertaken to shut off the sound and vision on its television set for the whole time that the other countries are giving their ratings until it has voted itself. In this way, the voting results announced before theirs 
will not influence any national jury. It may seem a little bit complicated, a little bit strict, but I shall say so much the better. In such an international contest, on such an international level, one is never too strict, one is never, shall we say, too careful. Denise. Merci. Bien voilà. Bien voilà. Thank you, Leon Zitron. And this is the lovely Denise fan. I prefer her. She's explaining the voting system in France will be futile for me because you've already heard it. I hope you followed it from Leon. It's as good a time as any to reflect on this year's contest. And before it began, on the evidence of seeing and hearing each national entry, and it's produced by their own country, I nominated the winner to come from the United Kingdom with Coco, Ireland with Colin Wilkinson, or Luxembourg with uh, Baccarat. And I thought Irene Scheer for Germany was possibly the best outsider. However, having seen again each performance under the most demanding conditions possible in this huge hall of the Palais de Congrès and live before this ginormous television audience of 600 million all over Europe and the Middle East, I think Jean Vallet, with the Belgian entry, may well be the first solo male entrant to win since 1966. And I like Tanya Tanakli do too, with the Greek entry, Charlie Chaplin, was very catchy, and it's going to get quite a few votes, I think, that one. Coco, obviously still in there with the chance, they got a very good reception here in the hall. And Colin Wilkinson can't be discounted for Ireland either. Uh, perhaps a similar reaction to that which lost Cliff Richard the Eurovision some years ago might set in among some jurors against Baccarat, simply on the grounds that they're so much more experienced and famous than anyone else in the contest. The ways of juries are strange. Don't forget that these juries have heard these songs and singers at two dress rehearsals and they've heard and seen the performance you've just seen. So they've probably made up their minds and changed their minds again several times. I think this probably accounts for some of the bizarre results of the past years. As, as I've said earlier, Marie Miriam last year was a complete shock winner, at least to me. So I'm prepared for anything, but I'll stick my neck out and say I think the best song is L'Amour, Ça Fait Chanter La Vie by Jean Vallée for Belgium, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to win. Now, the scores won't be shown on a conventional board, but electronically flashed onto a giant screen dropped in front of the stage. Digital, it'll be, I think. And it's on that screen that uh, we hope to see the cabaret, uh, which goes on while the marks of the 20 national juries are being finally collated. Some cabaret it is, too. Stefan Grappelli, the great jazz violinist, with the Oscar Peterson trio, and then in duet with Yehudi Menuhin in Pick Yourself Up. Listen and watch and enjoy it.
bien, Madame. voilà, mesdames, mesdemoiselles. Tu écoutes Emmanuel. Et je ne sais pas si tu as vu l'audience. Ils ont pensé que c'était le temps de partir pour se rafraîchir. Comme le hair. Nous espérons qu'ils vont revenir au temps de la scoring. Mesdames, 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 mesdames
Allemagne, 12 points. Germany, 12 points. Monaco, 8 points. Monaco, 8 points. Monaco, 8 points. Grèce, 5 points. Grèce, 5 points. Greece, 5 points. Israël, 10 points. Israël, 10 points. Israël, 10 points. Suède, 4 points. Pardon, pouvez-vous répéter le nom du pays Suède. Suède. Combien de points 4 points. Suède, 4 points. Suède, 4 points. Well, that means Israel are in the lead, 34 to Belgium, 31, and the last three countries have given no marks at all to the United Kingdom. Italy, one point. Italy, one point. France, two points. France, two points. France, two points. Royaume-Uni, six points. Royaume-Uni, six points. United Kingdom, six points. Belgique, quatre points. Belgique, four points. Belgium, four points. Allemagne, sept points. Allemagne, sept points. Germany, seven points. Monaco, cinq points. Monaco, cinq points. Monaco, five points. Grèce, huit points. Grèce, combien de points? Huit points. Grèce, huit points. Greece, eight points. Luxembourg, douze points. Luxembourg, douze points. Luxembourg, twelve points. Israël, dix points. Israël, 10 points. Israël, 10 points. Et Autriche, 3 points. Et l'Autriche, 3 points. Austria, 3 points. That's Israel, 9 points in the lead. Surprise leaders, I'd say, in this 23rd Eurovision Song Contest from Belgium in second place with 35. Oui, bonjour. Bonjour. Bonsoir. Voici les résultats du jury français. Irlande, 5 points. Irlande, 5 points. Ireland, 5 points. Italie, 4 points. Italie, 4 points. Italie, 4 points. Royaume-Uni, 2 points. Royaume-Uni, 2 points. United Kingdom, 2 points. Suisse, 7 points. Suisse, 7 points. Switzerland, 7 points. Belgique, 12 points. Belgique, 12 points. Belgium, 12 points. Monaco, 1 point. Monaco, 1 point. Monaco, 1 point. Grèce, 10 points. Grèce, 10 points. Greece, 10 points. Danemark, 6 points. Danemark, 6 points. Danemark, 6 points. Israël, 8 points. Israël, 8 points. Israël, 8 points. Suède, 3 points. Suède, 3 points. Suède, 3 points. And Israel in the lead with 52 points. Belgium, 47. And Greece doing very well. Tania Tanakli do with 32 points. Israël qui mène avec 52 points. Et tout de suite derrière, la Belgique avec 47 points. Allô, allô, l'Espagne. Allô, Paris. Oui, veuillez me communiquer vos points, s'il vous plaît. Oui, bonsoir. Ici Madrid. Voici les résultats du jury espagnol. Italie, 8 points. Italie, 8 points. Italie, 8 points. Portugal, 1 point. Portugal, 1 point. Portugal, 1 point. France, 5 points. France, 5 points. France, 5 points. Royaume-Uni, Royaume-Uni, 3 points. United Kingdom, 3 points. Suisse, 4 points. Suisse, 4 points. Switzerland, 4 points. Belgique, 2 points. Belgique, 2 points. points. 2 points. Allemagne, 10 points. Allemagne, 10 points. Germany, 10 points. Grèce, 7 points. Grèce, 7 points. Greece, 7 points. Luxembourg, 12 points. Luxembourg, 12 points. 
Luxembourg, 12 points. Israel, 6 points. Israel, 6 points. Israel, 6 points. Well, Israel in the lead with 58, but still anybody's race. Some very bizarre points being coming from the various national juries. The United Kingdom. Hello, United Kingdom. May I have your points, please? Hello, Paris. BBC Television Centre, London, calling. Here are the results of the United Kingdom jury. Number 6, Israel, 6 points. Italy, 6 points. L'Italy, 6 points. France, 8 points. France, 8 points. France, 8 points. Switzerland, 2 points. Switzerland, 2 points. Suisse, 2 points. Belgium, 12 points. Belgium, 12 points. La Belgique, 12 points. Netherlands, 3 points. Netherlands, 3 points. Pays-Bas, 3 points. Turkey, 1 point. Turkey, 1 point. Turkey, 1 point. Monaco, 10 points. Monaco, 10 points. Monaco, 10 points. Luxembourg, 7 points. Luxembourg, 7 points. Luxembourg, 7 points. Israel, 5 points. Israel, 5 points. Israel, 5 points. Sweden, 4 points. Sweden, 4 points. La Suède, 4 points. And that completes the point yep. of the United Kingdom. Colin Thank Berry reporting from London, London Israel with Israel's lead being whittled down by two points, 63 to 61 for Belgium, as you're hearing. J'appelle maintenant la Suisse. Veuillez me communiquer vos points, s'il vous plaît. Bonsoir, Berne. Bonsoir, Paris. Ici Berne. Voici les résultats du jury suisse. Irlande, 7 points. Irlande, 7 points. Ireland, 7 points. Italy, one point. Italy, one point. Italy, one point. France, six points. France, six points. France, six points. Espagne, eight points. Espagne, eight points. Spain, eight points. Royaume-Uni, two points. Royaume-Uni, two points. United Kingdom, two points. Belgique, ten points. Belgique, 10 points. Belgium, 10 points. Allemagne, 3 points. Allemagne, 3 points. Germany, 3 points. Monaco, 5 points. Monaco, 5 points. Monaco, 5 points. Grèce, 4 points. Grèce, 4 points. Greece, 4 points. Israël, 12 points. Israël, 12 points. Israël, 12 points. Ceci termine les résultats du Suisse. That's Israel lengthening the lead again. Eh bien, Israël est toujours en tête avec 75 points contre la Belgique. Very, very close, this 23rd Eurovision Song Contest. Avec Bruxelles, bonsoir. Vos points, s'il vous plaît. Allez, allô, Paris, ici Bruxelles. Voici les résultats du jury belge. Irlande, 10 points. Ireland, 10 points. Ireland, 10 points. Italy, 1 point. Italy, 1 point. Italy, 1 point. France, 8 points. France, 8 points. France, 8 points. Espagne, 2 points. Espagne, 2 points. Spain, 2 points. Royaume-Uni, 4 points. Royaume-Uni, 4 points. United Kingdom, Four points. Suisse, sept points. Suisse, sept points. Switzerland, seven points. Allemagne, cinq points. Combien? Cinq. cinq. Allemagne, cinq points. Germany, five points. Monaco, six points. Monaco, six points. Monaco, six points. Luxembourg, trois points. Luxembourg, trois points. Luxembourg. 3 points. Israël, 12 points. Israël, 12 points. Israël, 12 points. Eh bien, Israël passe à 87 points contre la Belgique, 71. Well, that's ironic that the Belgian vote puts Israel even further ahead, 87 points to 71. Le jury belge a donné le point maximum à son concurrent le plus dangereux, c'est-à-dire Israël. He might be listening to what I'm Hello, saying, that man. Netherlands, may I have your points, please? 
Hello, Ferris. This is Hilton in the Netherlands. Here are the results of the Dutch jury. France, six points. France, six points. La France, six points. Spain, four points. Spain, four points. L'Espagne, quatre points. United Kingdom, two points. United Kingdom, two points. Royaume-Uni, two points. Switzerland, eight points. Switzerland, eight points. La Suisse, eight points. Belgium, five points. Belgium, five points. La Belgique, cinq points. Germany, seven points. Germany, seven points. L'Allemagne, seven points. Monaco, ten points. Monaco, ten points. Monaco, dix points. Denmark, one point. Denmark, one point. Le Danemark, un point. Luxembourg, three points. Luxembourg, three points. Luxembourg, trois points. Israel, twelve points. Israel, twelve points. Israel, douze points. And that completes the points of the Dutch jury. Well, it's beginning to look like a runaway victory for Israel. 99 points. The closest contender to them is Belgium with 76. Comment? Je vous entends très très bien, Ankara. Je vous remercie. I'm hearing you extremely well, Ankara. Irlande, 10 points. Ireland, 10 points. Mais est-ce que je peux vous demander, Ankara, s'il vous plaît, de parler tout de même un peu moins fort? Not so loud, please, Turkey. Yes. Thank you. Italy, 1 point. Italy, 1 point. Italy, 1 point. France, 4 points. France, la France, 4 points. France, 4 points. Royaume-Uni, 6 points. Royaume-Uni. Pendant, il y a une erreur. Après la France, l'Espagne, 7 points. L'Espagne, 7 points. Spain, 7 points. Royaume-Uni, 6 points. Royaume-Uni, United Kingdom, 6 points. Royaume-Uni, 6 points. La Suisse, L'Allemagne, 8 points. L'Allemagne, 8 points. Germany, 8 points. Monaco, 5 points. Monaco, 5 points. Monaco, 5 points. Luxembourg, 2 points. Luxembourg, 2 points. Luxembourg, 2 points. Israël, 12 points. Israël, 12 points. Israël, 12 points. Autriche, 3 points. Autriche, 3 points. Austria, 3 points. Et ceci termine. Les points attribués par le jury turc. Merci. Merci beaucoup, Ankara. Well, I don't see any way, really, that Israel can be caught. 111 points. They could end up with a record number of points to win this contest. Ireland, 5 points. Ireland, 5 points. Italy, 2 points. Italy, 2 points. Italy, 2 points. Pour la France, 10 points. France, 10 points. France, 10 points. Le Royaume-Uni, 8 points. Royaume-Uni, 8 points. United Kingdom, 8 points. La Suisse, 6 points. La Suisse, 6 points. Switzerland, 6 points. La Belgique, 3 points. La Belgique, 3 points. Belgium, 3 points. Les Pays-Bas, 4 points. Pays-Bas, 4 points. Netherlands, 4 points. La France est de Monaco, 7 points. Monaco, 7 points. Monaco, 7 points. Israël, 12 points. Israël, 12 points. Israël, 12 points. Ce qui fait qu'Israël vient de passer à 123 points. Oui, et l'Autriche, 1 point. Et l'Autriche, 1 point. Austria, 1 point. Well, it is extraordinary. They've been getting full marks from nearly every jury. That's Israel with 123 points. The closest to them is 79 from Belgium.
Rosa de Villemanigasque. Italie, 8 points. Italie, 8 points. Italie, 8 points. France, 5 points. France, 5 points. France, 5 points. Espagne, 4 points. Espagne, 4 points. Spain, 4 points. Royaume-Uni, 7 points. Royaume-Uni, 7 points. United Kingdom, 7 points. Suisse, 2 points. Suisse, 2 points. Switzerland, 2 points. Belgique, 12 points. Belgique, 12 points. Belgium, 12 points. Pays-Bas, 1 point. Pays-Bas, 1 point. Netherlands, 1 point. Allemagne, 10 points. Allemagne, 10 points. Germany, 10 points. Luxembourg, 6 points. Luxembourg, 6 points. Luxembourg, 6 points. Israël, 3 points. Israël, 3 points. Israël, 3 points. Et je vous termine les points publiés par le jour de Ponega. Well, Belgium whittled down the lead of Israel there somewhat, but I still don't feel they can be caught. 126 to 91, and the United Kingdom, disappointing showing, I'm afraid, from the voters for Coco. Allô? Allô, la Grèce? Allô, Barry? Oui? Ici Athènes, voici les résultats du jury grec. Irlande, 10 points. Irlande, 10 points. Ireland? 10 points. Italie, 2 points. Italie, 2 points. Italie, 2 points. France, 8 points. France, 8 points. France, 8 points. Espagne, 6 points. Espagne, 6 points. Spain, 6 points. Royaume-Uni, 3 points. Royaume-Uni, 3 points. United Kingdom, 3 points. Belgique, 12 points. Belgique, 12 points. Belgium, 12 points. Allemagne, 7 points. Allemagne, combien 7 points. 7 points. Germany, 7 points. Monaco, 4 points. Monaco, 4 points. Monaco, 4 points. Luxembourg, 1 point. Luxembourg, 1 point. Luxembourg, 1 point. Israël, 5 points. Israël, 5 points. Israël, 5 points. Et ceci termine les points attribués par le jury grec. Well, Belgium have just got uh, full marks to the last two juries and they're catching Israel up. But whether it's too late for them, I don't know. Hello, Denmark. May I have your points, please, now? Uh, hello, Paris. Copenhagen calling. Here are the results of the Danish jury. France, 8 points. France, 8 points. France, 8 points. Spain, 12 points. Spain, 12 points. L'Espagne, 12 points. Switzerland, 3 points. How many points? 3 points. 3 points? For Switzerland. 3 points for the Swiss. Switzerland, 3 points. Netherlands, 5 points. Netherlands, 5 points. Les Pays-Bas, 5 points. Germany, one point. Germany, one point. Allemagne, un point. Monaco, ten points. Monaco, dix points. Monaco, ten points. Greece, four points. Greece, four points. La Grèce, quatre points. Luxembourg, seven points. Luxembourg, seven points. Le Luxembourg, sept points. Israel, six points. Israel, six points. Israel, six points. Austria, two points. Austria, two points. L'Autriche, two points. And that completes the points of the Danish jury. Thank well, you Israel very much. Israel in the lead with 137, as they have been almost from the beginning. Belgium in second place and France in third. Belgium, 103, France, 91. Voici donc les résultats du jury luxembourgeois. Irlande, 10 points. Irlande, 10 points. Ireland, 10 points. Italy, 3 points. Italy, 3 points. Italy, 3 points. France, 1 point. France, 1 point. France, 1 point. Espagne, 
Espagne, deux points. Espagne, deux points. Spain, two points. Royaume-Uni, cinq points. Royaume-Uni, cinq points. United Kingdom, five points. Suisse, huit points. Suisse, huit points. Switzerland, eight points. Belgique, sept points. Belgique, sept points. Belgium, seven points. Pays-Bas, six points. Pays-Bas, six points. Netherlands, six points. Grèce, quatre points. Grèce, quatre points. Greece, four points. Israël, douze points. Israël, douze points. Israël, twelve points. Well, if there was any doubt before, there's absolutely none now. There's no way in the wide world Israel can be caught. 149 points, the closest is Belgium, 110. The United Kingdom have 51. France, five points. France, five points. La France, cinq points. six points. Who? Spain, Spain, six points. Spain, six points. Thank you. Spain, six points. United Kingdom, two points. United Kingdom, two points. Royaume-Uni, two points. Switzerland, one point. Switzerland, one point. La Suisse, one point. Belgium, seven points. Belgium, seven points. Belgique, seven points. Netherlands, twelve points. Netherlands, twelve points. Les Pays-Bas, 12 points. Germany, 3 points. Germany, 3 points. L'Allemagne, 3 points. Monaco, 8 points. Monaco, 8 points. Monaco, 8 points. Greece, 10 points. Greece, 10 points. La Grèce, 10 points. Denmark, 4 points. Denmark, 4 points. Le Danemark, 4 points. And that completes the voting on the Israeli jury. Thank you. Thank you very much, Rafa Dotti Rushan. Well, it's a one horse race. Israel have won it, no doubt about that. And in third place, well, it's a fight between Monaco and France, and Belgium are going to be the second place. Yes. Voici les résultats du jury autrichien. Irlande, six points. Irlande, six points. Ireland, six points. France, douze points. France, 12 points. France, 12 points. Espagne, 7 points. Espagne, 7 points. Spain, 7 points. Royaume-Uni, 5 points. Royaume-Uni, 5 points. United Kingdom, 5 points. Suisse, 10 points. Suisse, 10 points. Switzerland, 10 points. Belgique, 4 points. Belgique, 4 points. Belgium, 4 points. Monaco, 1 point. Monaco, 1 point. Monaco, 1 point. Grèce, 3 points. Grèce, 3 points. Greece, 3 points. Danemark, 2 points. Danemark, 2 points. Denmark, 2 points. Israël, 8 points. Israël, 8 points. Israël, 8 points. Et ceci termine les points attribués par le jury autrichien. Bonsoir. Merci, Vienne. Eh bien, c'est toujours Israël qui mène avec 157 points. Well, there appears to be very... You know, we could stop the competition of the scoring here, I'm afraid. Israel has been in the lead, looks certain winners for the past 15 minutes. Good afternoon. This is the result of the Swedish jury. Ireland, 8 points. Ireland, 8 points. L'Irlande, 8 points. France, 10 points. France, 10 points. La France, 10 points. United Kingdom, 3 points. United Kingdom, 3 points. Et le Royaume-Uni, 3 points. Belgium, 4 points. Belgium, 4 points. La Belgique, 4 points. Netherlands, 1 point. Netherlands, 1 point. Les Pays-Bas, 1 point. Germany, 7 points. Germany, 7 points. L'Allemagne, 7 points. Monaco, 12 points. Monaco, 12 points. Monaco, 12 points. Greece, 2 points. Greece, 2 points. La Grèce, 2 points. 
Luxembourg, six points. Luxembourg, six points. Le Luxembourg, six points. And Austria, five points. And Austria, five points. L'Autriche, cinq points. That's all from Stockholm, Sweden. Good well, night. that's, that's, that's all from everybody. It's 157 to Israel, well in the lead. They've won it. Belgium are second. And France are in third position. Israel, pour la chanson Abanibi, l'auteur en est Ehud Manor, compositeur Nourit Hirt, chef d'orchestre Nourit Hirt, et les exécutants étaient Isa Cohen et le groupe Alpha Beta. La victoire donc à Israël. Well, that's it. The winners are Israel with song number 18, that's Isar Cohen and Alpha Beta. And on they come, as they did come to perform, Isar Cohen, full of beans. Learned he's dancing in America, and he's singing as well, probably, with Nuri Hirsch, who is the only female musical directrice in the competition. She also composed the music for this Abani B. The excitement is tremendous, as you can imagine here. There's the Israel flag showing. And the orchestra getting ready to play, of course, as usual with the Eurovision Song Contest, they'll reprise the winning song by Isar Cohen and Alpha Beta. That's Abani B, and it's Israel's very first ever win in the Eurovision Song Contest. A hiatus occurring on the stage, of course. Maybe, of all times, this is the time that the lift has chosen to fail. <laughs> if he just our luck. Well, Alpha Beta are Nahama Shutan, Esther Zuberi, Lisa Gold, Isaac Ochev, and Ruven Eres. Yeah, the words for this by, by Ehud Manor, who in fact has written hundreds of songs and has written for the Eurovision Song Contest for Israel many times in the past. And he's written this song along with Nurit Hirsch, who conducted the orchestra. And there's well, I don't know whether it's a slow hand clap. We're not going to see Alpha Beta or Ishar Cohen because the first person we're going to see is Marie Midiam, who won the contest with Roiseau et Enfant. And she's joined by two extremely distinguished-looking gentlemen, one of whom will certainly be Jean-Louis Guillaume, who's president and DG of TFA. The laser zaps around the back of the stage. And on comes the young lady who's going to carry the Grand Prix, the award for this 23rd Eurovision Song Contest that's going to be presented to Israel for the very first time, to Izar Cohen and Alpha Beta. Just look at that laser over that enormous, that enormous podium, that revolving stage with the orchestra on it, like a great easy chair that swings around. And we're still... Obviously waiting for the arrival. Le groupe est prêt, le voilà. <laughs> they've lost the group. Maybe they've taken the wrong lift. No, here they come. That's them. Led on by the two composers, Nuri Tirsch and Echud Manor. That's Isar Cohen and Alpha Beta, the winners of the 23rd Eurovision Song Contest for Israel. With Albani B, they take their bows. And Marie Miriam congratulates them, presents Isar Cohen with his badge. And they get congratulated by the various dignitaries, by oh, the DG of TF1. Just had his toes stood on. Something that never happened to Sir Charles Curran in the Eurovision Song Contest. I'm glad to say. <laughs> he probably paid for the privilege. He had several kisses that lucky devil. Great smile there from Isar Cohen. Well, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, from 30 countries for being with us tonight for this 23rd Eurovision Song Contest. And now you'll hear the... Uh, the Israeli group once again. We beg to leave. Thank you very much. Merci. Merci. Yeah,
that's it as the crowd rise to the Palais de Congrès in Paris. The winners of the 23rd Eurovision Song Contest, winners of the Grand Prix de Europe, Israel, Isar Cohen and Alpha Beta, with the number 18 song. And down comes Nurit Hirsch to take her bow. And these are the Nurit bow together. And on comes Ehud Manor to take his bow as well. A very popular win here in the Palais. And a clear, a runaway winner from all the 20 national juries. They leave the stage. The terrific applause of the, the Paris crowd and the Palais de Congrès. Leaving the stage to the orchestra of TFR.